Welcome back, Wildcats. I'm Jake, and today is December 2nd, Medical Monday. And I'm Morgan, reporting from 218. This is your morning news. Multiple sources have reported that there may be a new birth control pill available for men. The pill has passed safety trials but is now undergoing effectiveness trials. However, sperm production can take several months while on the pill, meaning male contraceptives may take a decade before possibly hitting the market. Scientists are also still trying to find ways to suppress testosterone levels in the form of a topical gel and an injection. The CDC has identified 27 new people who were ill due to the recent E. coli outbreak. This outbreak has over 60 cases across 19 states. This strand is known to cause vomiting, stomach cramps, and diarrhea. It's also linked to the romaine lettuce outbreak in 2017 and 2018. An illness constantly on our minds is dementia. Some in the world develops dementia every three seconds. There were an estimated 46.8 million people worldwide living with dementia in 2015, and this number was believed to be close to 50 million in 2017. The amount of people that have dementia will have doubled every 20 years. But first, let me explain what dementia is. Dementia is not a single disease, but a group of mental conditions that inhibit memory, social skills, and direction awareness. A recent fact has been brought up that dementia is three times more likely to show up in illiterate people. That's right. By not learning your ABCs and reading, you're at risk of dementia. So stay in school, kids, and keep learning. In school news, seniors, if you have not ordered your cap and gown yet, it is not too late. You can order them on HerfOrlando.com. Prices go up on January 1st, so place your orders soon. Yearbook is looking for a few good clubs. If you are part of any clubs and would like to see your club in the yearbook, please come see Miss Norton this week in room 335. Don't miss this chance of featuring your club in the yearbook. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes will have their first meeting on December 4th during both A and B lunches in the music room right off the cafeteria. Come and join us for a good time in fellowship and Bible study. In club news, Coding Cats will be held on Tuesdays in Mr. Ross's room, room 318. Anyone is free to join. We will be participating in competitions and opportunities to code in the community. Attention all Spanish Honor Society members. There will be a meeting today after school in room 271. We will start the season with parranda music. No fault then. Reminder everyone, please make sure you don't have your phone out during instruction time, even in the hallways, and make sure you have a pass when out in the hallway. Students, please remember to check your school emails for daily lunch detention notices. If you fail to serve a lunch detention, you will be subject to a day and pass. If you have a parking decal but unsatisfactory attendance, you can and will lose your parking privilege. So please get to school on time and attend all of your classes. It's time to share your Christmas, Wildcats. Start collecting cans today. Canned food will be collected through your fifth period and through clubs. Fifth period teachers and club sponsors will need to weigh the donated items each day and submit the weight total to SGA on December 11th. The fifth period class and club that brings the most canned goods will receive a prize from SGA. In sports news, the girls weightlifting team is conducting a toy drive this week and would like your help, Wildcats, by sponsoring a child. Toys and holiday gifts will be distributed to kids and staff at the Eatonville Boys and Girls Club. Pick a tab from flyers around school or go to room 288 or 206. The last day to turn in gifts will be December 17th. There is a new digital physical paperwork process that has been implemented immediately. Please go to the athletic physical link under the More tab on the Winter Park Athletics website. The last day to turn in hard copies will be Friday, December 20th. Any physical submitted after the date will have to be electronic. That's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a marvelous Monday!